Good evening and welcome back. Hopefully you did see the last video. If not, I'm going to give you a bit of an update anyway. Um, we did finish the first half of the season um, with a win. And then we had our four-week break for the transfer window. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll jump into the team selection, but I'll show you what sort of changes have been made to the squad in case you didn't see the last video. So here we go. This is the lineup we're going to start with today. Now... There are actually, I'm going to swap Botman and LaSalle's around because uh, Botman's left-footed. We have got a couple of people absent because of international duty. But in terms of new signings, I'm going to show you who we've actually acquired. And you'll see a few faces missing also. So we managed to get a second-choice keeper in Donnarumma. Now he's going to really fight for, for the number one spot with Pope. Very, very similar sort of ratings. Donnarumma's obviously a lot younger. He's going to improve a lot more. So in the future, he will be our number one. And massive signing. We managed to get Delict um, centre-back from Juventus. My thoughts for that were we did need a third-choice centre-back for rotation, but also I wanted a right footer. So he's going to play where Lascelles is at the moment on the right side. And then we'll either have Botman or Gvardiol as the left-footed. My first thoughts are uh, Gvardiol is going to be number one choice. But again, it's all about rotation. And Anderson has left on loan for the rest of the season, which is great. And we've let a few people go. We did get some bids in for the likes of Wilson and Wood. Target, because he was our third choice left back. So we've trimmed down the squad a lot. The only two people I'd really want to let go now are Frazier and Carrius. Now that we've got that second choice keeper. And like I say, Anderson should get some good experience whilst out on loan. But what we'll do is we'll jump into the match. Hopefully we can continue our good run of form and um, score a few goals I even thought about starting Donnarumma in this match but Pope is on a slight up and you know as time will come um, there's going to be matches coming thick and fast and especially next season assuming we get into Europe you know we're going to have even more games we're going to have three competitions that we're playing in at that point so you know people are going to get Plenty of game time. Nice ball to Alden on there. Oh, the Al just couldn't quite get the end of that one. A bit of a strange ball. Ah, straight lucky there. Try to curl it in, but couldn't get it out from underneath my feet. Good tackle there. And another one. Ran straight out of the defender, to be fair, on that one. Just over Gunnar's head. Good wait from Almron. Gunnar's. Oh, I think it was going wide. Um, and the defender Nelly um, a mix up there. Oh, that's not a free kick. Come on, ref. I'm really pleased with the signings we've got. We've kept in budget as well. We've still got... We've still got... Oh wait, I just want to play on, man. Um, we've still got enough budget already to pay for the um, the salary. So we'll have no worries about you know not having enough money. Um, even though we're clearly going to get a lot more from... If you win, you get about a thousand a game, I think. Oh, the out. Bruno. Oh, deflected again. And then obviously you get money for winning like, trophies and things like that. So we're in good stead. Um, especially for, 
for next season. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh, you got to feel sorry for him. I thought he had got away with it with that heavy touch, and then he's just... Oh, he's just panicked, hasn't he? Well... Um, one area we definitely need to, s to strengthen now is... Oh, hang on, let's play this first. What was that? That was not a shot, honestly, that I, I tried to chip it to Gumerej and I just didn't press the direction right and went straight to the keeper. Yeah, it's like a lofted three ball I tried to play. Um, nice ball to Davies. That's just a bit overhead. Well, it's sort of in between, really. Two. I think Isaac should have scored. There it is, two nil. Um, you might see some changes in how the players look. I have tried to go in, and bear in mind this is a game from two thousand and six. I've changed a few faces, I've changed the hairstyle of Liao to try and at least match similar to what he's got now, it's nowhere near what he looks like, but changed a few players' looks, um, changed the squad numbers to try and reflect what they were in real life, now some of those conflict, um, like Delict I've changed to um, number 4, um, but Botman wears a number 4 as well, I believe, so I've had to you know, compromise in places. Um, and it doesn't really matter too much, you know, but it's just something I like to do. I like players to at least look remotely what they're like and wear the same numbers if possible. And you're going to get that anyway at a, at, in real life, you know, if a player moves to a different club, they might not be able to wear the, the number they want because um, it's already taken. So... Terrible defending, terrible defending there. I could see what was going to happen and I just couldn't, couldn't do anything about it. That's really disappointing right at the end of the half. Just we're looking pretty assured at 2 0, but. And that was a terrible pass, but so was that. Oh, just over Isaac's head. I thought that was three. It's half time though. We'll jump straight back into the second half. Disappointed with the end of that, but um, let's press on. Sloppy from Trippier. I don't think the pass was great, but Trippier should have got there. But what I was just about to say before, I think, um, I think one key area we need a signing is a top class striker. Um, now, Liao and Isaac are doing amazing where they are. Technically, Liao really isn't an out and out striker. Um, but that's how he's been playing as. And he's like still young and got a lot to learn and a lot to improve. And that guy just fell over. What is going on? Now, it's going to sound ambitious, but someone like Mbappe, you know, an out-and-out world-class striker who has got 
Really, I want someone that's lethal at finishing. That's what I want. You know, we've got pace, we've got things like that, which Mbappe's got as well, but I want someone that's absolutely lethal at finishing. Because what I find with the players we've got, and obviously a lot of it's down to me as well, is we often create a lot of chances in the game that we don't convert. Um, that we should as well, you know. I, I brought the keeper out then, I panicked and I just kept running with it, so we get away with it in the end. Great goal there, wonderful counter attack. I thought I had overhit the shot there, well, which is why I kept silent. Um, yeah, lovely flow and move, nice pass, and I thought I had hit it over the bar. Yeah, so you see the likes of Rice, he's, he wears a number 41 in real life, uh, which I forgot, so he's changed to that. So just things like that, I, I, I like. I like doing that. Um, also, I've made Declan Rice captain. Um, simply because he is pretty much one of our guaranteed starters. In that position, he's really made his own. Now, he's not going to start every match. Because we do like to rotate. But I don't see Isaac or Liao being captain. And they're probably our guaranteed starters, normally. Um, the goalkeeper situation's a bit weird where I'm not sure who is going to be number one. Probably Pope for now, but... Um, who else? Centre-backs as well, they're going to rotate. in there. God, look at the time, I haven't even been able to make the substitution. It's never going to get through there. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to um, get people on to get some experience, so... Ooh, good save. Good save from Pope Clear it out. Oh, that's an atrocious. That's not even a talk. A talk material. It's just, yep, it's a foul. I hate these. I hate these free kicks. I really do. You know, I want to play it short, but you can't really aim very well. Uh, we'll see who you can even aim. Oh, that's not a foul. The first one was, that one wasn't. Come on, I'm one. That's not who I was trying to pass to. Get in there. What a tackle. Two tackles there. Well, did I get the ball? I'm not sure I did. It was a crunching tackle though. I don't know why I keep looking at the referee and think that's one of my players. <laughs> St. Maximum on the run here. Yeah. Got a score there. Come on. I think I might have played the pass a little bit too early. I 
wide open and I just play a terrible pass. Great tackle. Oh, wonderful footwork by Liao. Look, that's it. Full time. Just overrun it a little bit. Declan Rice and Liao with the goals. Let's have a look to see what the ratings are. So Liao man a match with only a 6.5. Um, I know it wasn't like the best of games, but I wouldn't say... Hmm. Yeah, I suppose fair enough. And we didn't manage to get any subs on either, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, but if you look at the bottom right there, you know, the funds is at 27,000 and the salary is only 16. We actually managed to reduce the team salary, even with getting Donnarumma and Delict just from the players we let go. So that's pretty good going. You know, the team salary will rise eventually when we get the likes of... If we manage to get an Mbappe or someone similar, and maybe one or two other players, you're looking at it's going to go up to maybe you know pushing towards the twenty thousand mark eventually. But for this season, we've got more than funds. We'll have some left over for the summer transfer. But that's that's to worry about another time. We've still got plenty of matches before then. Um, but thank you very much for joining. Hopefully, the next game will have some of our players back from international duty might be able to see a full strength lineup with our new signings but if you did enjoy the video hit that like button drop a comment down below let me know what you think and what you might want to see from my channel at the moment I'm playing PES 6 and PGA Tour 2K23 they're the two main games I'm playing at the moment any other games you would like to see or recommend I'll certainly be happy to give them a try and if you'd like to keep up to date with that, subscribe as well if you can. I'd really appreciate it. But thank you very much, and I'll speak to you all soon.